vids, Zero and Andro back here with another video today. And in today's video, this is a another season preview, and this time's on the Gold Coast Titans. So obviously heading to this year, the Gold Coast Titans been really hyped. Um, that's probably because of their big signings such as David Fafita, uh, Tino Fasa with Malawi, and to name a few. And um, you know, I think that. They're good recruitments, but just I have a little bit of concerns about the Titans team in general. Maybe in some positions they're lacking a little bit, I reckon. Um, but no doubt their recruitment's been good. Um, but we'll see how they go. Uh, you know, I think Titans have, a good, have some good younger players, I think. But around the squad, the Titans have a bit of stale players, in my opinion. And I'll get into that soon. But for the past couple of years now, the Titans, they've just... They haven't been good enough. They've, they've always been a bottom 14, you know. I just remember back in 2016, that was the only good time... They really uh, made the eight, but they're lucky to make, make the top eight in 2016 because of the Parramatta Eels cheating scandal. Um, so you know, look, the Titans they've been look the Titans have occasional good games, but they've always seemed to be that really bottom bottom team that you know is always you know lingering around the bottom four. They've just never been successful. I mean, last year they were building really well, won, won five games in a row at the back end of the year. But to to be fair, they only beat one top eight team in the eight, and that was um. And that was, uh, yeah, the Knights. And that, and at the time, Knights were a bit, you know, stuffed then with uh, inconsistency and all that. So, look, I think Titans look good or look, look all right heading to this year. But, again, uh, but I don't think they're going to do much. But we'll see. But let's get into the preview. So, this is my team, in my opinion, that I'll pick uh, with, with, everyone at, with everyone at full strength and with every, everyone free to play. Uh, this is a team I'd pick at full strength for the Titans, personally, in my opinion. So fullback AJ Brimson. The wingers are Corey Thompson and Philip Sammy. The centers are Patrick Herbert and Brian Kelly. Uh, the halves are Tyler Boyd and Jamal Fogarty, one captain. Uh, the props um, the props are Milwaukee Fred Waker and Jared Wallace. The hook is Mitch Rain. Uh, the back rows are David Fafita and Kevin Proctor. And um, yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Proctor is another captain for the Titans. And lock is Tino for Asua Malawi. And off the bench, number 14, Aaron Clark, 15, Sam McIntyre, 16, Herman Siese, and 17, Tyron Peachy, and the coach, Justin Holbrook. So, I think there's some pretty decent players in there in that squad. I think guys like AJ Brimson, Brian Kelly, Jamal Fogarty, Milwaukee Fodawaker, and guys like Proctor, Fuasua Malawi, Fafita, are all star players and all... Really, really solid, strong players. I think they're all going to have a pretty good year for the Titans. And I think they're all good good players for that, for that side. But I don't know. I think, they're, striking, I think they're, li they're lacking a little bit in the backs. I mean, their back line isn't that threatening, in my opinion. And maybe in the halves. I mean, they, they need a better six than Ash Taylor, I reckon. They need, they, need, they need a way better six than Ash Taylor and Tana Boyd. I mean, Tana Boyd's solid, but he's, not, he's nothing too special. So, you know, you know I, I think that's... Maybe in some areas they can fix. Maybe Mitch Ray. Mitch Ray's a little bit stale now as well. So I don't know. Maybe 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 they need a better hooker. But overall, it's not bad. Not a bad side. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's okay. Now getting into their depth. So this is the Titans' depth for twenty twenty one. So their depth is uh, Alofaya. Uh, how do you say this? Uh, Alofiana Khan Pereira. Sorry about the mispronunciation there. Um, yeah, depth: Anthony Don, Ash Taylor, Greg Masu. Uh, Jane, Jane Campbell, Jonas Pearson, Sosifo Fafita, uh, Toby Sexton, Traman Spry, Bo Firmall, Darius Farmer, Jay Whitbread, uh, J Jamin Jaliffe, uh, Sam Lasone, uh, Sam Stone, and Tristan Powell. So that's the Titans' depth for 2021. Not bad. I don't think Titans uh, struggle in depth at all. And, you know, depth is pretty well covered. You know, have a lot of experience in that team. Well, a bit of experience, like Anthony, Anthony Don being a backup. I just think Anthony Don's time first raise is a little bit done, in my opinion. So he'll become he'll be um good good backup, and then you know, I think they've got to, I think their depth is pretty good. I don't think depth is a problem for the Titans, so they seem all right in depth and in the uh, backs and forwards department in terms of depth. So I think depth is a good thing for Titans in twenty twenty one. Uh, getting to their strengths now, their strengths of twenty twenty one, in my opinion, is their off season recruits and how they'll go. I think all their recruits will go pretty well. Uh, so that's one strength of the Gold Coast Titans. And another strength is their great young players coming up and, um, you know, how they'll go in, the, in a couple of years' time. So, yeah, look, the off-season recruits obviously are pretty good. I mean, Dave, I'll name all of them for you. Dave Fafita, uh, Tina Fasua Malawi, Sam McIntyre, Patrick Herbert, Herman SESA. Um, am I missing anyone else? Let me check quickly. Am I missing anyone else? I don't think so. Um... 
No, uh, that's it. So that's all the Titans depth for 2021. Uh, sorry, signings. I mean, uh, and you'll wake up there. Um, I think all their signings are pretty good. I mean, obviously the bigger ones, David Fafita and then coming by Tino Fasu and Malawi. But, you know, I think Titans recruitment's been really strong. I think guys like Sam McIntyre, who's a great young front rower, and I can see him possibly having a big future at the Gold Coast Titans, hopefully. Um, you know, and guys like Patrick Herb, who, who's solid, but he's nothing, he's not special in my opinion, but he's solid though. And Herman SCS has a really a, a strong and solid front rower who will probably come off the bench and bring some impact. So I like, I like the recruitment. I think the recruitment is pretty good overall. Um, so that should be a success for them in 2021. And the other uh, strength for the Titans in 2021 is their great young players coming up. I think guys like, yeah, again, Sam McIntyre, AJ Brimson, Brian Kelly, still fairly young. Philip Sammy is young as well. Uh, Jim Alf uh, actually, you know, Jam Jamal Fogarty isn't that young. He's um, about 28, 29, so he's a bit of a, bit of an older, older sort of rookie, rookie player. Um, Mark, Mikey Fodawaka, uh, yeah, Tina Fasu and Malawi. So they got a lot of good young tides, a lot, good, a lot of good young players coming up for the systems. I think. Um, you know, I think Titans, yeah, they, they have a good young junior system coming up. I think all coming, more well, most of them coming from the uh, Kiba Park locals. Because um, obviously Titans have built a big franchise of youngsters from the uh, Kiba Park um, school or high school or something. Uh, so, go, so, so the Titans have some good junior systems happening over there. So that's a good thing as well. I think the young players are all going to step up this year. And um, they're, they're gonna be, I think all the young players are going to be something to look out for for the Titans in the next couple of, couple of years' time. I think they're all going to be pretty, really good. Uh, the weaknesses, in my opinion, is a strike center. is one thing they're missing, a strike center. And a good 5 8th. I think that, yeah, so I think the strike center is a big one for the Titans. I mean, obviously, you've got one good good center with a lot of speed and strike, and that's Brian Kelly. But the other one, Patrick Herbert, I think he's nothing more of a backup player, in my opinion. I put him in the Titans team because the Titans have nothing, no one else better to put in the center, so I just put Patrick Herbert there. Um, but I think Titans look a bit more better. They've got a strike center. Like, for example, I'm not saying they're going to sign him or anything, but maybe like a Zach Lomax, a. Possibly like a Moses Sully, Justin Olin sort of player. I mean, one of them could be all right for the Titans. I just think that maybe they're missing that strike center. Um, you know, they already got, I know they've got Brian Kelly and all that, but that's not that's not enough, though. I think they need another strike center with a bit of speed and strength. And no disrespect to Patrick Herbert, of course, but I think Herbert's not not, not really that strike center that the Titans need. So maybe the Titans go in the recruitment and find a good strike center. I think things look better there. And a, and a good 5 eighth. I think Titans need a good 5 eighth. I don't think Ash Taylor will do anything. I think Ash Taylor is nothing more than a, um, you know, I think Ash Taylor is nothing more than a fouled or a, a one-year wonder loser back in 2016. That was his only good year. And, he's not, and since then, he's only been like a one-year wonder. He's done nothing since then. Uh, Ash Taylor is just a foul, in my opinion. And he, he just, I can't trust him anymore. He got, I think Ash Taylor last year in 2020 definitely got, definitely got carried by... Jamal Fogarty last year. I mean, Ash Taylor got carried so badly by uh, Jamal Fogarty. I think if Fogarty never came that Titans team, uh, I think Titans will go. I think Titans will go worse, and, Fo and Ash Taylor will have all that pressure on him, and he will crumble as well. So, yeah, look, I, I don't think Ash Taylor's going to be ever good again. I think he's always going to be that backup player that's always going to be in injury backup. I think I think Ash Taylor's need is just done almost. Um, so they need a strong, uh, they, they need a, a solid five eighth. I mean, maybe like a Blake Green or so, sort of player who often is good for their halfback, provides good service. I think a Blake Green sort of player would be would, would be a, 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 an ideal sort of player for the Titans. Uh, their best signing for twenty twenty one. Now it's a bit obvious, but Tina Fasu and Malawi is not far behind. But their best signing, of course, is David Fafita. I think David Fafita's gonna have, have a big year at the Titans. He's a really good player with low strength. He's such a quality player, Dave Fafita, great young player, and he will definitely be uh, scary to watch in a couple of years' time. I can't wait to see what he does in the future. I think Fafita will have a big year for the Titans, and um, I think Titans fans are, are excited by the prospect of Fafita himself and what he will provide for that club. So, yeah, best sign, Dave, Dave Fafita. The worst loss is Jai Arrow. I think Jai Arrow obviously is up there. Uh, you know, he's obviously a really, really tough player who brings a lot of grit and strength for the middle. I think Titans will miss that a lot this year, but, you know, I think the... Uh, replaced him pretty well with Tina Fasu and Malawi, so see how he goes, big Tino. But obviously, Jai Arrow is a big loss, and uh, he should go, he should kill it at Souths. But obviously, losing Jai Arrow is a bit tough on the Titans, so uh, we'll see uh, how big of a loss he is to the Titans overall. But it shouldn't be that big since they've replaced him pretty well. Uh, the player that needs to step up for the Titans in 2021, I believe, is Mitch Rain. I think ever since 
uh, the Dragons' days, like 2014 or 2015 or something. Mitch Rain hasn't been the same player. I think that Mitch Rain's been really stale. He's been really poor in his form. I think the only reason why Mitch Rain's been consistently picked by the Gold Coast Titans every week to play is because of his experience. I think that's the only reason why. Uh, you know, Mitch Rain, I, I don't think he he does much, to be honest. I mean, he just, he just passes the ball. And that's it. Like, he doesn't have a, a running game or doesn't have, like, that really crisp and strong passing game. He's just not really much of a threat for a hooker. So, I think Mitch Rain's under a lot of pressure this year. And he, and he needs to step up if, if Titans are going to do anything. Because, obviously, hook is a really important position. And Mitch Rain's playing there, probably. So, we'll see how he goes. And he has to have a big year. My latter, my latter prediction of the Gold Coast Titans in 2021 is 12. I think Titans are going to have a solid year. Uh, I think they'll be better. But, you know, I just think that they've got a lot of problems in their team still that people don't realise. I mean, so I'm surprised people even have, them, have the Titans in the top eight. Titans, they have a recognised, uh, well, that all they do, but, like, they don't have a good a, a good quality 5-8. They don't have a strike centre. They don't have a class hooker. They don't have a... Um, well, they don't have good backup for AJ Brimson because if AJ Brimson goes down, who who replaces him exactly? You know, like Titans have a bit of issues, I think. And um, until those are fixed, I think Titans could be a better side, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. But guys, that's my twenty twenty one Gold Coast Titans season preview. What do you think? Uh, hopefully, enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in another video.